Hey everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Wanting to do a quick video lesson over going over my top plays for tomorrow. We got CYN, CRXT, VLON, RDBX, and MDVL. Let's just dive into it and get into the psychology of it. So CYN, I'm looking for a test of three. Play the previous high at daybreak over 2.8 for a test of the low threes. Okay, so let's get into CYN here. Solid mover past couple of days um, little money maker for me at the end of Friday and we're breaking 245 previous high day break or that first day and that worked out nicely that plan still have some resistance here in the 270s 280 area but I think if it could keep holding up it is a low lower market cap low market cap not lower and a lower float doing really good volume the past couple of days and I think if this keeps holding up and fails to break down we can easily get a test of three after that we're looking for the mid threes but you know just take your quick gains lock in your profits so that's gonna be the plan for this so the psychology really is it's holding all its gains and adding to it after jumping from the low ones and it continues to hold its gains Volume still coming in. Supply and demand is there. Um, it's holding key levels. It keeps trending higher. And now if we keep breaking this next key level, I think shorts will really get squeezed out of it. And that's really it. I think we'll get a pretty good short squeeze if this fails to break down. If they can't take it over, there's a lot that probably sighs back into this because it was a choppier move. He did get a quick perk higher. One second. Um, but ended up being pretty choppy. And I think shorts are adding into this and whatnot. Because just based off the price action, it was pretty, pretty choppy. There was a lot of selling going on into this whole entire move. So if this fails to break down, I think we can continue the move higher to possibly three and a half. But for me, if I'm in the mid to high threes or mid to high twos I'll be looking for my quick 10 15 percent into the low threes so that's CYN next up CRXT so we got a massive run up here nice mover now shorts have taken over roughly 50 percent off the highs I'm looking for a multi-day bounce according to data on average they spike about 30 percent so I'm just looking for my quick 10-15%, just taking the meter of the move, maybe a little more than that. Um, but yeah, so now shorts have taken over, and we're way off the highs pretty much. And it could head lower, but, you know, had a really hard time heading lower this day too. But it did finish near the day lows. Had a hard time, as we can see with this candle. It had a hard time pushing higher, has a small wick going up. Um, and then it finishes near the lows. So, still pretty bearish on this. But once we get that bottoming action, the confirmation of the bottom with that high break, these shorts are going to start covering their, their profits because you got a bunch that are probably in the mid to high threes and a bunch more in the mid to low twos. So, if this keeps holding up, those people are going to start locking in their gains as it starts coming back. And that's really just the psychology behind the move. We're looking for shorts to take over after a huge run-up. And we like the huge run-up because we got a lot of eyes on it. And there's some range for it to move. So just looking for short covering and some dip buyers to come in with the trend confirmation. And that will bring in the volume to push it higher. So that's CRXT. Just looking for a quick. 10-15% move, even though I am expecting this thing to get about, what are we looking at, close that, 1-8, wow, my brain's slow right now, so I could probably move about 50 cents, probably get to the low twos, low to mid twos, or some resistance here, it might get held up there, um, so yeah, that's the RXT, multi-day bounce set up there, next up we got VLON, 
solid play that was really just pre-market and they're doing really nothing here we had a fake out a crack two that was holding up nicely key psychological level as well whole dollar half dollar broke it for a minute but then it came right back and this thing's kind of reminding me of cyn from this first day here where it ended up having a fake out and came back and didn't necessarily close near the highs it was still well off the highs but holding up and not finishing near the lows the only thing is VLON, I'm pretty sure, finished red compared to the open price. But, you know, still up a lot, 100%. If this fails to break down, we got a low market cap, very low flow. This could easily come back and be a nice previous high day break. I will be probably playing it similarly to how I traded CYN on Friday. And if you want to take a video, a look at that, we got a couple video lessons from Friday going over that trade. But just focusing on tomorrow's plays, here I'll be looking for that previous high day break over 268, where shorts are for sure underwater. They're already a bunch were here getting in, you could tell, in the low twos, the way this was trading and whatnot. But then it, they hold it down for a bit, it gives a little pop, but they end up taking it lower. But we're still holding up, making a higher low essentially. Just still kind of holding trend. So if this could come back, it could be a possible previous high day break. Looking for that quick move, just a three, a quick 10%. And yeah, all I got to say about that. Because once it breaks that high, there's not enough selling there. You know, all these shorts, they're underwater. And they're going to be covering their position. And that's going to lead to more buying, and that's going to push it higher. On top of buyers like me looking at this for a long already. <clears throat> and we got RDBX. Here we are looking just for a breakout play over 385. This was a nice play for me Thursday. Failed to really hold up the way I wanted, but it still is holding up around 50% of its gains. You know, going from 2 to just under 4, we'll call it a 100% mover. Um, and now it's holding roughly 50%. If that could keep happening, you know, it could start uptrending. I could see a potential setup for a multi-day breakout if it gets back to the 380s. With some solid volume, it is a low float lower market cap and yeah that's all I could say about this just a simple multi-day breakout continuing this trend we got solid bottoming action on the daily chart we had a fake out over the 360 break here but if it fails to break down I think we can start coming back to that level after that next resistance around five but of course like usual I'm gonna say take your quick snipes play it safe and let your gains add up day by day. But yeah, that's RDBX. Just a simple multi-day multi -day breakout. Um, if it fails to break down and gets back up there. So just kind of a waiting game for now. But something to keep on watch. Because I do like it even though it is a waiting game. We had a lot of volume. These past two days. Or yeah, these two days. And then when there was selling, there really was not a whole ton. Compared to all the buying that was going on. So that's making me think that. It might have some more upward pressure left in it if there's not enough downward pressure. So we got lastly MDVL. <clears throat> um, uh, yes, I remember this fake out red candle breakout. I have a whole um, YouTube video on that, but I did also. So I bet it'll be easier to get it through Twitter. This, video this one right here. Um, made it, I think, a couple weeks ago. We got lesson on volume and red candle breakouts. And these were the examples. FIO, GF, AI, cells, SBFM of the day, that day. And MDVL reminded me of that. How we had the fake out over the red candle break. As I usually kind of talk about. Just not my favorite. 
for a breakout to go over a red candle. I much more prefer the green candle as I see it as a continuation in the trend and the red candles very high conviction area for shorts and sellers. And here we had a fake out, but we are still kind of holding up. So if this thing could come back to the three fifties, now I'm looking at it as a breakout over a green candle. So we'll see if this could continue higher. It is still making higher lows, even though we got a red candle here, it still made a higher low. It's still uptrending. The selling on Friday was not significant at all. The lowest volume it did in a week. And yeah, just keep it on radar for a 350-ish breakout. What is it that day? 356. So yeah, those are the top plays set in the IC setting up for Monday, April 25th. And I will update the watch list tomorrow. I'll, I'll post it in a moment on Twitter. And, of course, like usual in the morning, any new gappers that are popping up, I'll update the watch list to see if there's anything new. But besides that, hope everyone had a great weekend, studied up a bit, got to relax a bit, learned something. And now let's just get ready and prepare for tomorrow. And we'll attack tomorrow strong. Hope everyone... Oh, and um, yeah, check us out on Twitter. I pack a punch traders. If this, if this was useful, and you like this material, like and subscribe here on YouTube. And besides that, if you need any low cost live stream, see us live trading and whatnot, check us out on tradecaster.com. Besides that, yeah, let's head hit tomorrow strong and hope everyone gets the rest they need, learn something this weekend. But yeah, have a great one.